We're headed across the region and through the seasons to find the strangest and most seldom seen frogs of the southeast. Our journey begins in the middle of winter, not much more than a warm spell. In northwestern North Carolina, where I grew up, winter seemed to last forever. Especially if you're like me and you like the world green, it was a long time. But when I heard this noise, this song, in late winter, I knew that spring was right around the corner. This is the voice of the wood frog, just a rather plain looking frog, dark brown males and slightly larger russet or tannish colored females. It's also the northernmost frog. You can find wood frogs all the way up in northern Canada, even Alaska, far north of where other amphibians are capable of tolerating the climate. It's so well adapted to cold temperatures that the adults of this species can actually freeze. They can drop below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and when it warms up, they'll come right back to life, right back to activity. It's an amazing physiological adaptation. If you get a few warm days with some rain that fills up little fishless pools, sometimes even just puddles along roadbeds, wood frogs will find them. And before long, they're filled with egg masses. They come here, they breed in these puddles, and their, their larvae develop fairly rapidly so that by the summertime, we have small frogs. And looking in here, we can see these egg masses. This is what they're coming here to do. Lay these beautiful, crystal clear egg masses, little black dots. Each one is a little embryo that's gonna develop into the tadpoles. A couple weeks time, tadpoles will come running out and this, this little pond will be just absolutely filled with thousands of little wood frog tadpoles. And usually, here it breeds in February. But this year, I'm sitting here in the first week of January and the wood frogs are almost done breeding. Here in Northwestern South Carolina, we're at the very southern limit of the range of the wood frog. And here, every year, we're seeing wood frogs breed a little earlier and a little earlier in the year. When wood frogs come out here and lay eggs, late November and December like they did this year, and then we have a cold snap, and the temperature falls down to 10, 12 degrees here, this pond's gonna freeze over. And even though the adults can freeze and tolerate the freezing, the egg masses can't. When those eggs freeze, all the eggs that end up being frozen are, are goners, they're dead. These erratic weather patterns are impacting the wood frog in this stage, but they may also impact the wood frog here at the southern limit of its range because these are frogs that like to live in cool, moist woods. It's an upland frog, and it only comes down to these temporary ponds to breed. And as summers get warmer and drier here, these wood frogs are in danger of even persisting as adults. So we're here on the front lines of where the wood frog is facing the challenge of a changing climate.